Hello and welcome to your first tutorial in CSS. The first thing I'd like to do before we go into the more advanced material later in this series is just remind you all the difference between inline, internal, and external styles. So to start, let's create a pair of H1 tags. Hmm, what do I want it to say? I'm gonna go with Adam's site. Why not? It is my site. Oh, and there it is, H1, huge. But I want this to appear in the center. Like any kind of header on my website, I like to be in the center. So we'll create what's called an inline style. And that's by accessing your tag. And you can do it in any tag, really. I could do it in my body tags. But I just want it to be my header. Go in there, access what's called the style attribute. Then type in text, hyphen, align, colon, center and I'll save this press F5 and now it's in the center now before I go on I want to di differentiate the difference between an attribute a property and a value when you uh, access a tag all the letters that you see all the words that you see that turn out red or any any word any te text document because they could all be different I don't know but the text that comes be before the equal sign or what's in front of the equal sign is the attribute then within the quotes, but before the colon, whatever colon you'll have, wherever it will be, is the property. So this is text align. Then after the colon, you have the value. Here I have center. So I just want to differentiate this. So now I would like to create a pair of paragraph tags. And let's see, what, what am I going to have in there? Um, welcome to my site ellipses because it's not really much I'll press F5 and there it is but what if I want this to be centered as well well maybe I want all my paragraphs to be centered maybe I have many 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 paragraphs so what I can do is create an internal style sheet a style sheet that's still inside this HTML uh, file and, and not in a separate file so I would go within my header tags and then create a pair of style tags. Then I'm going to access the type attribute and specify it as text slash CSS. And I'm going to save that. And as you might have remembered, you don't type in style or anything there. What you type there is the name of the tag of which you want all the tags later in your in your body to obey, basically. So within your pair of styles I want all my P tags to be centered so I'll just type in P open curly brace closing curly brace then within here what you type are the properties that you would normally put after the style attribute within that tag so I want text align colon center followed by semicolon so I'll save that and voila now it's in the center now what if I want to add another um, proper another value different type of value for my paragraph tags that I don't want to have for my h1 tag well since we're only modding the p tags well then we're just fine now let, let's make it italicized for example I'll go font style and you don't need to know these yet I'm gonna go over all the, these kind of things and then I believe the next video for uh, text formatting but for font style I can type in italic then when I save press F5 well now the text is italicized well, that's cool well what if I want to apply these features to multiple web pages we have a bunch of HTML uh, files well in order to do this we can create what's called an external style sheet so I'm just going to double click here then what I'm going to do is it's basically the same thing as this you literally just type in the tag name whoops the tag name open curly brace closing curly brace and I really I could just copy and paste this whole thing so I'm going to just copy and paste this copy and paste whoops and I'm going to add an extra line just for good measure 
it's a coding practice that I, that I learned in C++. Uh, and then I'm going to save this file in my files thing. I, as you can see, this is a lot of the stuff I use in my XHTML tutorial. So I'll call this example and then look for the file extension .css. So, oh geez, where is it? Oh, here it is. Gosh. Wasn't where I thought it would be. That was alphabetized. Then I'll click save. Now notice you can see the name of the tag has its own style. The properties have their own style. And then the values have are just a generic black text. Now we have to be able to link this this file to our index or whatever page we want. Every every web page that you want in order to link this, you have to create a pair or just one link tag. It's one of those unique tags. So I'm just going to get rid of these. And again, still within the header file, create a link tag like this. Type in rel equals, then style sheet. Then for the type, as you could have guessed, text slash CSS. And then you type in the URL of that file. It's in the same folder, so I'm just going to type in the name of the file, example.css. So when I save this, notice I don't have that internal style sheet anymore, so let's see what happens. So I'll refresh the page. It doesn't really look like I'm refreshing the page, but I am. And it's exactly the same. So let's try creating a second web page and see if it will work for that web page as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all this, paste it in a new file, click whoops, save as, and I'll call it, I don't know, page 2 dot html. Click save. And here I'll put down second page. Whoops, this is the second page. Now notice the link is in here as well, so it will be able to access the CSS file as well. And notice this has its own style for center as well. But yeah, we should probably keep it. I don't ha I don't have you know what, let me get rid of this, just so you can see the difference. Notice how in the CSS file, I'm only mo modding the P tags for, cent for center aligned. So on the second page, without the H1 tag having a specific inline uh, attribute for style, it won't be centered anymore. So you'll see this. So then we're going to have to create a link, pair of anchor tags, to go to that page, to second page h reference and then what was the name of it page 2.html so when I click save that uh, should work so I'll refresh the page oh now it says two second page and oh yeah also note because since we're using a tags instead of p tags they're no longer applied but we'll learn about modding uh, link tags later and when I click to second page, the text is still centered and italicized, but notice how the H1 tag is not centered anymore. And that's because we didn't specify it for the H1 tag. We removed that inline style. So that's that's about it. Um, I'm gonna for all the future videos in this series, I will be writing all the CSS, all the style sheets in a separate externally in a separate file. Uh, I will not be using an internal style sheet. Uh, but I'm not going to be referring to a second page either. I just wanted to show you that it does work for two pages. You can do it like this. As for every page, make sure you refer to that CSS file here. So, uh, yeah, and uh, this about wraps up for this tutorial. I um, hope you come back for the second.